So if y'all, okay, so I've been thinking about this a lot lately. I hope y'all like my spiritual gangster sweatshirt because we're about to be talking about modesty. Okay, I know this is a touchy subject in the church, in the secular world. Nobody wants to touch on modesty. I, to be honest, I don't even want to touch on modesty because I feel like everybody is just different. Like, let people dress the way that they feel the conviction to dress, whatever. But the other day, I, I really felt like I have a way um, to explain it in the best way that I know how for where I stand on this. And it actually was with my sister, Rebecca. So in Louisiana, it's really hot outside. Like it's pretty much always really hot, especially in the summer. And my sister Rebecca came over to the house and her and my mom were about to go to this baby shower. And Rebecca was dressed in a leather jacket and jeans and a, like a, a scarf. Like she was full on ready for the winter. And it was summer in Louisiana. She walks over, she's like, Oh, it is so hot. It does not feel like it's 40 degrees. And my mom was like, that's because it's not 40 degrees. And Rebecca's like, yeah, it is 40 degrees. I can't believe it. Isn't that weird in the summer? But does it feel like it? And mom's like, well, yeah, because Rebecca, it's not 40 degrees outside. Didn't you just walk over here and feel that it wasn't 40 degrees outside? She goes, well, yeah, I mean, it's hot, but my weather app said that it was 40 degrees outside. And mom's like, Okay, so yeah, your weather app said it was 40 degrees, but did you not just feel that it's not 40 degrees outside? And she said, well, yeah, but the app said that it was 40 degrees outside. And I just thought this is so funny because I asked Rebecca, I said, Rebecca, was this like the first time you'd done this? What, what was going on? She said, actually, I didn't realize that I had programmed the wrong city on my weather app. So every day I was dressing as if it was 40 degrees, although clearly it was 90 degrees in Louisiana. So she was hot every day. She was a little uncomfortable. She wasn't quite dressed right for where she fit because of where she actually lived, but she was still dressing because the weather app said it was 40 degrees. And I thought about this. And I thought that was so funny that Rebecca did that. Then I thought, you know, I actually think that that's how we do sometimes. You see, we see the bloggers on Instagram, we see the trends, we read the magazines, and then we begin to dress like the trends do because it's 40 degrees outside, right? Even though when we go outside and we're dressed that way, we actually don't really feel right. It's a little sticky, not just for us because, hey, it causes more problems than we really need to get ourselves into. It's a little uncomfortable. It doesn't feel quite right because we're dressing what we were told to dress as, even though we know where we're actually from, that's really not the way that we wanna look. That's really not what we wanna represent. We're not going off of the fact that the weather app says it's 40 degrees because the weather app is from a place that we're not even, that we are not even living, that we don't even belong to, just like the world. I don't actually want to be a reflection of the magazines that I read. I don't want to be a reflection of just the culture I live. I want to be a reflection as a daughter of the king. I want to be a reflection of what it looks like to be able to be so secure in who I am and be comfortable in what I wear because I know I'm honoring God. And when people look at me, they're not just looking at what I'm wearing, what I have on, but they're looking at somebody who is actually just clothed with strength, who's clothed with joy, who's clothed with garments of praise. And so I think modesty doesn't always have to do with exactly what you're wearing, but what you're representing. And I think that's really important for us to think about. I also think the other thing is, hey, you can't dictate the weather of somebody else's life. You don't get to scroll through and pick what city they're in, they do. And so don't be so judgmental of where somebody else is at because they just might be in a different place than you are. But you focus on your own life. You, If you know where you're from, then you dress accordingly. I'm gonna read this in Ephesians. It says, Ephesians 4.20, it says, that however is not the way of life you learn. When you heard about Christ and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus, you were taught with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, to change the city you're living in, which is being corrupted by its the uh, which is being corrupted by its desires to be made new in the attitude of your mind. When you're made new in the attitude of your mind, you take out that worldly mindset and you put in that kingdom mindset, which actually means putting on that mindset of royalty. So dress accordingly and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. And I think that's a reflection of what our dress should be. You don't have to wear sweatshirts that say spiritual gangster every day. Shoot, I don't do that. 
I wear t-shirts and shorts half the time and that may be different for somebody else. But I think at the end of the day, it's just about knowing what you want to represent, knowing what you want to reflect, and knowing who you are and what you want people to see when they see you. Do you want it to be sticky and uncomfortable and not feel right? Or do you want to walk out and feel confident knowing that you're clothed and what God has just designed you to look like, which is a daughter of Him. So I hope this encourages you today. I hope this isn't like, I don't want you to think of this as like a judgmental, like looking down, because I think sometimes modesty is like that. It's not like that at all. It's about just stepping in to just walking with a confident step, knowing that you're really representing the God who sent you on this earth to walk it, you know? And I think that when you walk it like that, you walk just a little bit taller. So I hope that this encourages you.